Sir, are you familiar with this document? See a document or something? Can I see some ID? There's your document. Can I see some ID? You don't need ID. No, I'd like to use the services here. Sir, take your bag out of my face and stop creating a disturbance. I beg your pardon, you're videotaping in a public space where you're actually not really supposed to be doing that. Don't be putting me on no camera. No, they said they can't believe they can. Ma'am, check with your postmaster supervisor, please. I don't have one. If I see my, my image out on the internet. What are you going to do about it? You're worried about them in a public place Excuse and you're me? cursing like a truck driver? Excuse me? Yeah, there is no excuse for you. Just go back to your business. How's it going, guys? Watching The Watchman here. Out with Amagansett Press. Here in Austin, Texas. At the uh, North Austin Station. And... Today, as usual, we're going to take some video uh, here in public, and we'll probably go inside and try to get a stamp, and uh, we'll see how it goes. See if these folks respect our First Amendment right to take video in public. Appreciate your support, as always. Oh, so this is the uh, loading dock area here. You see the palm trees are all dead here in this neighborhood because of, uh, in this whole area because of the uh, freeze they had down here not long ago. Most of the palm trees apparently didn't make it. I'm having trouble hearing you, sir. It's a postal facility and there's no photography allowed. It's a postal facility and there's no photography allowed? Federal facility, you're not supposed to take pictures of it. Not supposed to take pictures of a federal facility. Who told you that? Federal law. No, you're mistaken. I don't believe so. That's not federal law. You might want to check. Can I ask who I'm speaking to? Uh, yeah, my name is Dino. I'm the supervisor here. Dino, the supervisor, okay. Yeah, you should know better than that, Dino. Uh, who are you? Maybe check with the uh, postmaster. Have you, have you have something from the postmaster? I'm having a hard time hearing you, I'm sorry. Do you have something from the postmaster? Do I have something from yeah. the postmaster? No. Yeah. Are you, I mean, I, I guess I'm just trying to figure out why you're videoing the station. Oh, okay. Oh. I'm just doing what I do. A bunch of times, right. But you shouldn't be giving out bad information. You're perfectly. Okay. There, there is uh, no reason I can't take pictures of a federal facility. You, uh, How about you morning, could be planning in some kind of terrorist out, activity or something. I don't know. Well, you could be doing the same thing. I work here. Why would I do that? Huh? I don't know. I, I'm just walking around taking video. Why would I do that? I don't know. Yeah. Just I think the guy you got to worry about doing that, you're probably not going to see him before he gets yeah, here. It's not going to be me. It's not going to be a guy walking around with a two foot stick making himself obvious out in the daylight. You never know. I guess you don't. You, know, you never know. Never know. I guess each and every time you cross the street, you get hit by a car. You never know. That's very true. Yeah. So, but I, I tend not to uh, 
walk around in fear. I don't know. I'm just living, just living my life, doing my thing. Yeah, I'm just trying to, just just trying to protect myself. Okay, well, okay. you do what you got to do. Yes, sir. All right. So anyway, back to what we were uh, doing here. I think it actually would be more likely to be him doing something like that. Postal employees. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you don't very often uh, on the news hear about photographers going rogue and like uh, doing anything dangerous. Postal employees on the other hand. And actually, now that I'm noticing what you usually point out, I don't even see any uh, no trespassing signs. There's one around this corner. Where is it? So what does that mean? The whole property? And, and then last what is that designating? Just this area? I don't know. I'm, uh, it's kind of a strange spot for a sign. Well, yeah. So, uh, yeah, towing enforced. Let me just get a shot of this. Sorry, watching. And this is the sign Watchman's referring to here. But, uh... We really need a replacement sign for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's... So if a supervisor of the post office actually believes that it's illegal to take pictures of a federal building. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I signed in the block that says indefinite. So this is the uh, North Austin station. And evidently heroes work here. <laughs> this is the... Uh main sign here and you know what's funny if he uh thinks we're not allowed to take any pictures on the outside wait until we go in yeah so uh, like i've been doing recently a lot of you guys wanted to see me comment on the condition of the flag so uh looks like they're doing all right a little faded from the sun but uh not torn up or anything better than some i've seen Issues there. It says recommended on this one. Cool. And uh, that's it. So let's go through the line. Can't take pictures inside. Sir, are you familiar with this document right here hanging on your wall? Poster 7 Rules and Regulations of Governing Conduct on Postal Property. Right. Photographs for news, advertising, commercial purposes are explicitly allowed inside well, that's what and outside I asked the building. Back there. Well, you're the supervisor of the facility. You should know that better than I, I understand that, and I assume you're just taking pictures. I don't know you're doing that unless you tell me. I asked you out back that you were taking pictures of. No, well, you, told you, me, you told me you told me it was illegal to Are take pictures of a federal building. It is. It's not. You're looking at your rules right here, sir. For commercial purposes. Are you making a commercial? Am I making a commercial? Yeah, That's what not you, what commercial what purposes means. I know you're trying to sell the building. What are we doing? No, I'm not trying to sell the building. But I, I can assure you I fall into that category. Well, can I see a document or something? Can I see some ID? There's your document. Can I see some ID? You don't need ID. There's no need for ID. And I assure you, I mean, if you want to have a civil conversation about I, it, I, I can That's explain. what I'm trying to do. I can, you sure. So I, I can explain to you what the law is. If you're interested in that, if you stop telling me what it's, what it's not, I'd be happy to tell you what it is. Okay, tell me what it is. Okay, so as it states here, photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums when used for public meetings, but you don't have an auditorium here, except we're prohibited by official signs or security force personnel. Right? Only There's also... Other, other photographs may be taken only with the permission of the local postmaster. Or that's other hand. photographs. I fall under the first... Part of that. Can I see something to show me that? But there, I don't, there is nothing. What, what would I show you? I don't know. A letter from the postmaster says you can be here. I don't need a letter from the postmaster. I'm going to ask you to leave, please. Well, I would, if I was you, I would call the postmaster. I'm trying to. Okay, I'll wait for you to call. Because I need to get some video of the rest of the building, but I'll let you confirm it first. There's also a DHS memo, Department of Homeland Security, dated 2018 which gives us explicit permission to videotape outside and inside yes, of yes, federal who, buildings. Who? The Department of Homeland Security gives yes. any member of the public the right to photograph inside or outside as long as you're not in a restricted area.
It originally was released in 2010, completely redacted. They unredacted it in 2018 and re-released it. And you can look that up on uh, Google. If you just Google DHS memo on photography 2018, it'll come right up. And I'm sure your postmaster is aware. No, I'm just, and I'm not trying to give you a hard time. No, no, I, Man, no we'll, not, we'll all learn something yeah, today. Yeah, you know? Exactly. Yeah. So is this oh, about shit, wearing and masks and... You no, it has masks. nothing to do with that. You keep taking signs of those, the mask signs. No, I took actually took photographs of all the signs on the building. That's actually what we're doing. We're doing a sign inspection. By who? Who do you work for? Well, we'll work that out with the supervisor here. Answer your oh, take your time. I'm in a rush. I don't know. And you're being very cordial and professional. I appreciate well, I'm that. I'm trying to be. No, you definitely are. I appreciate it. I just don't want you to give out bad information. That's all. And I've done that once or twice in my life too. So you know, we have to have to learn what the truth is and what the reality is. I didn't touch part of you. No, I'm, okay. I'm here. Okay. He said your name was Dean. I think Bernardino is a much cooler name. No, I'll go by Dino. Huh. It's just easier for people. There you go. Stan, Stan, this is a Dino. I, I have a situation here. I got a couple of guys with GoPro cameras walking around the station, taking video. They're inside my lobby. No, they're not. They're not. They're not with them. No. Yeah, and they're really not identifying themselves. And they don't have anything. They don't have anything. Uh huh. So the lobby and the outside of the building is fine. But not in the not in the retail area. That's incorrect. Okay, well now he's... I actually have to go in and buy a stamp, so I have business here as well. But you can't video with that. Sure you can. Okay, now you re read your poster seven. You certainly can. I did read it. Now they're 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 going to try to go in there and buy a stamp in the video. Well, I've already told them that stamp. Is it okay if I speak to your postmaster? Hang on a minute. I'm, I'm going to let him talk to you, okay? Oh, you want speaker so I don't press my face up against oh, your phone. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, hi, is this Stan? Yeah, this is the area manager for Austin. Uh, what's the name of your company? company oh, I'm not with the company, sir. Okay. Uh, what, what I'm doing is, is I'm just uh, here to buy a stamp. I'm doing an inspection of the signs here at the post office. And uh, we video our... Uh, our business here while we're here. Um, now you do you, you have can't video the transaction? Oh, I'm not interested in videoing anybody's transactions except for my own. Or any transaction. You can't video that. Well I can video sure I can. I can videotape my own transaction. <laughs> I'm not interested in any what any of the other customers are doing here, but uh, your poster seven hanging on the wall here gives me explicit permission to do what I'm doing as well as a DHS memo that was really released in twenty eighteen. Okay, uh, hang on a okay. hang on? Absolutely, sir. Thank you. <laughs> and I appreciate you making the phone call. Oh, no, that's a, trying to find out what the deal I'm is. I'm doing my job correctly. Absolutely, sir. I appreciate that. What's this for? And I don't want to be on your video. What's it for? Well, you weren't on my video until you just included yourself. I, so if you don't want to be on my video, just myself. go about your business. Yes, sir. I'd like to know what it's for because I'm trying to use the lobby services that are available to me. I'd like to know. She could tell me what she thinks. Can you ask this man to please stop causing a disturbance, a please? I'm not. I have no. There's no. Excuse me. For my life, now. Dean, can you please, please ask this gentleman to stop? I know. I'd like to use the services here. Sir, take your bag out of my face and stop creating a disturbance. I beg your pardon. You're videotaping in a public space where you're actually not really supposed to be doing that. I'm trying to do a service 
that is available to me in a federal facility. You done now? I'm trying to speak with the postmaster. Are you through? Okay. Hello, sir. Yes. Ma'am, you have poster seven hanging on your wall, with, which gives me explicit permission to do what I'm doing. And there's also a Department of Homeland Security memo from 2018, which gives me explicit permission for what okay, I'm doing. Okay, I, I, was, I was told you were wanting... You are wanting video from us. Are you just videoing in the lobby? I do not want any video from you. I'm just taking my own video of my own business oh, and my yes, own transaction. Then, okay, then, um, yes, we cannot tell you not to video. Yes, we cannot tell you not to video. Sorry. Correct. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. You're welcome. All righty. You have a good day, man. You too. Bye-bye. We all clear? Okay, well, if you have me in any of your footage, you don't have permission to do anything. I don't need you. your permission, ma'am. You're in public. You're on federal property. There is no expectation of privacy in public. I'm very well who versed. Who do you work for? I'm very well versed in the law, who and I know what I'm doing. Who do you work for? Doing. You're an ass, but who do you work for? I'm an ass? Yes. You have a wonderful day, ma'am. Well, you're stirring it up, aren't you? No, I don't know. Somebody's stirring it up. Well, like you are. Well, you're entitled to your opinion. I guess George Washington and the boys stirred it up, too, huh? Depends what you're stirring it up for is what the well, important question is. There you go. If you, you want to ask me that question, I'd be happy to explain it to you. You're making your own point that you're stirring it up. See, I would have been happy to tell you what I'm doing if well, you would yeah. asked, but you already know, so there's no reason. No, you, they you asked you what you're doing, you wouldn't tell them. Sure, I did. I told them exactly what I'm doing. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I just spoke to the person in charge of those rules and regulations, and she confirmed I'm right. Well, you look like you locked those rules and regulations, don't you? You just came in here to argue and stir it up, didn't you? I didn't start a conversation with you, sir. You started the conversation with me. So let's keep it straight. Well, just let's keep it real, talk. buddy. Value your rights. They're like muscles. If you don't exercise them, they go away. Oh, they said they can't believe they can. Ma'am, check with your postmaster supervisor, please. I don't have one. Wow. This country's in a mess. And you're all helping it. I appreciate that. I don't want to be up here. No, then go find a job in the public, in the private sector, ma'am. You choose to work for the public, you put yourself in the public. You're on 18 cameras as it is. Yeah, 19 now. Very good. Hey, congratulations. That's your First Amendment right, and I celebrate your joining the club. This is federal property. How can you not have it on a map? You're filming the rest of us. We don't work here. Ma'am, please speak to the supervisor. I'm not interested in creating a disturbance. No, you, are, you already did. You already did. You already did. You already did. You You're ignorant of the law, sir, and that's not the way well, it works. Well, if, if I see my, my image out on the internet... What are you going to do about it? I'm going to try to find the source of it. And then do what? And then... Well, I would, if I was you, I wouldn't waste my time. I'd go outside and listen well, to the birds sing and look at the sunshine and enjoy your life. Well, nobody's asking you to. <laughs> nobody's asking you to do this. Uh, yeah, they are. They. What the yeah. hell are they? There are many, many people that oh, are yeah, asking right. me to do what I do. Yeah, sure. It's a celebration of ignorance at the North Austin Post Office today. What you people don't understand is, is that okay, I'm, here, yeah, I'm here for you. Don't educate. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't you don't understand what I'm yeah. doing. Don't you don't fucking educate. Don't you, right. you should ask questions, but instead you start spewing profanities. <laughs> you go home and kiss your husband with that mouth? That's real nice. Start cur You're worried about them in a public place excuse and you're me? cursing like a truck driver? Excuse me? Did you there is no excuse for you. Just go back to your business. Don't start with me, ma'am. I'm not interested in having a talk. I'm not even no, yes, interested are. in talking to you. Yes, you are. No. Yes, you are. No. Yes, you are. Because you're creating a whole situation. No, here. not at all. I'm here to buy a stamp. I could have easily walked in with a secret camera you didn't even see and done the same thing. Not trying to secret myself, and I'm just living my life. I suggest everyone else do the same. Now, what we're going to get is a denial of service. That'll be next. Let's go find Dean and find out why all the clerks have abandoned their phone. <clears throat> they literally just all left. It's yeah. amazing. Now, I just got out of my car and. The woman said, have fun in there.
I don't know what everybody's issue is with the cam. It doesn't make any sense to me. I just need you to change the address. And... Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. I just need to buy a stamp, and I would have been gone. Really? Yeah. That's all I'm looking to do is buy a stamp. You can buy stamps right there. Yeah, I need to get a receipt from her and oh. document my purchase. Oh, that's fine. Hey, Dean. Oh, there he is. Okay, so Dean, no, excuse me. Yeah. Hey. Could you just let they, everybody at the desk just abandon their post? You have a line out here. Nobody's selling anybody anything. Huh? So it's interesting because they actually just called the postmaster who spoke to the person in charge of media here at the post office. Yeah. They both confirmed that we're allowed to do what we're doing legally. Oh. And, not, and, and then not this happens. It's fascinating. <laughs> it's tricky, huh? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Are we coming back to work, ladies, so I can get out of here? I don't want to. No, I want you to stay right there. I'm not looking to hang out here I all day. Want you, to stay right there. you want me to stay right, right here? All right, good. That's perfect. So then he'll get an education too. So let's go outside and wait for the sheriff who's now on the way here. Amazing. So and, uh, after we'll uh, we already talked to uh, whatever supervisor or person who's in a position of authority on the phone there uh, who confirmed our right to be doing what we're doing from the post office, um, the clerks triggered, uh, are hiding in the back, and they called the sheriff now. So. Their media person got on the phone with us, confirmed the fact, confirmed what we're doing, asked me specifically, I explained it to them, told us that we're allowed to be here, and they've decided to go ahead and call the sheriff. So we'll wait for the sheriff to get here and we'll uh, educate the sheriff as well. Be a good opportunity to educate these folks here today in North Austin. I really believe that once we just made that phone call, we were gonna go inside, buy our stamp, be on our merry way. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing that there's still an issue after that. Yeah. And then you have customers yelling and screaming at us. No issues with that. But they'll say we were creating a disturbance. So this is why you videotape. I mean, outside of YouTube, this is why you have to record everything. Uh, because you have no idea how many people have been saved by a recording. So record your daily activities, guys. If you're going to go out and you choose to do this auditing type of stuff, because I know some of you are thinking about it, educate yourself on the law information is power you have to know what you're doing don't cross those lines make sure you're very uh very judicious in your actions and uh record everything Dean just came out and poked his head out here. He doesn't want us to leave. He wants to see us get arrested. Brilliant. Amazing. And I'm going to tell you right now, guys, if this sheriff shows up here and has his head up his ass, um, I'm not going to spend the night in jail in uh, Austin tonight. So if, they, if, they, if the sheriff here wants to violate my rights, I'm going to completely allow him to do that. Uh, we're going to record names, badge numbers, get all that information, and then we'll just deal with it in court because you can't fight with these guys out on the street. Um, you know, I'll push it as far as I possibly can, but again, I'm not looking to spend the night in jail in Austin, Texas. Um, but hopefully we get a sheriff here who understands the Constitution, values his own rights as well as ours and yours, and stands up for what's right. And uh, we've already got confirmation from the postal uh, authorities here, so I don't see what the issue is. So uh, this ought to be interesting. Stand by. Ma'am, I'd still be happy to tell you what we're doing if you're interested. You might actually appreciate what I'm doing if I explain myself to you. You know what? I would love to get, but can you get a, can you turn off the camera? Well, with all this that's going on, I can't. I will, I honestly can't because now it's but, for my personal protection. But I don't protection. want to be on camera. Well, when I go back and edit it, I will 
Uh, how, do I, to, how do I trust you? you? Well, I'm offering to tell you what I'm doing here. So you're going to educate me. Uh, well, uh, you know. Uh, you know you, what? As an educator, okay. I believe in education. Okay. So go ahead, educate me. Okay, so what this is, is a First Amendment audit. First Amendment audit. Okay, what we do is, this is my son. We've been traveling. I'm sorry for you. I feel so bad for you. By the way, well, you don't even know what I'm doing yet. Maybe you <laughs> no, should. So no, no, we've no, been no. We've, we've driven 31,000 miles and been to 30 states in the past 18 months defending the Constitution of the United States. That's what we do. And who are you um, like representing? I represent the people of the United States. But I didn't give you permission to do that. A lot of people here do not give. Like we're, we're not giving you authority. Do you want me to explain to that to you? Us. The way it works in public is, as long as you are standing somewhere where you're allowed to be, you are allowed to videotape anything your eyes can see. That's the law. That's the way it works. And the sheriff will confirm that for him when he gets here. Okay. Um, right. And we're not looking for anybody's personal information. We're not looking to cause any disturbances, but what we this is an exercise of rights because rights are like muscles and if you don't exercise them, they go away. Yeah. That's what that is. Okay. So that's why we're here. We're here to defend so the Constitution doing, of the United States. You're traveling around the country Exercising our First Amendment right to take video in public places. The people of the United States. Yes, ma'am. Doing an audit. And yes, ma'am. You're saying that this particular North Austin Station post office is not doing its job. No, I'm here to find out if they are or not. I don't know if they're doing their job. That's me, ma'am. Have a good day. Bye. I don't know what they're doing. So we're just here to see what happens. And whatever happens, happens. But that's the way it goes. My videos, just so you don't think I'm doing this for myself, my videos get over 100,000 views a day. We still don't know who you are. But you will know who I am. And if you're still here after this is all wrapped up, I'll give you my name, all my information, everything you want. I'm not hiding myself. I'm not, I have no reason right. to hide I, myself. I, I, so, but the FBI knows who I am. Law enforcement knows who I am. Everybody knows who I am. I'm not hiding myself, ma'am, and I'm not trying to secret myself. I have a two-foot stick in my hand with two cameras making myself very obvious what I'm doing. The front of my camera is blinking, telling you that I'm recording. I'm not trying to secret myself. I'm not trying to ruin anybody's day. I'm standing here. Up, I'm standing up for your rights, even though you may not realize it. Yeah, I know, but, but I didn't... I I... Being on camera is the least of your concerns no, with everything that's going As on in this said, world. As you said, we are surveilled all the time. We are surveilled too much. That Absolutely. I do not know. Yes, ma'am. I do not know. And you're right. Most of the cameras are hidden. I know this. Yes, ma'am. I know this. But I also don't understand why. I mean, these people are... These because they're federal job. employees. But they're, they're like trying to survive like everyone else. Right. So I can't tell you how many post offices I've gone into done this exact thing they give us smiles sell me my stamp i leave and there's no issue so because that's they, the law because they refuse the denial of service. no they didn't deny me service the supervisor dean called the postmaster and the postmaster told him i'm completely within my rights and to leave me alone and then he decided to call the sheriff on us that, that's all on video you can ask dean he's standing right there the supervisor of the post office called the postmaster got the media relations person for this post post office on the phone with him and they both confirmed that we're completely within our rights and said go ahead and do what you're doing you know what can i can i make state my opinion yes like, in terms of what you're doing yes ma'am like, first amendment rights in relationship to these federal um employees and do, they're doing their job this okay. is you're auditing them like you are picking on like no, 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 I'm not picking on things. them. They're picking no, on me. No, they're not. I'm not picking on them. Like, this is all about government accountability and transparency, there, man. There are so many other things going on in this country, and you choose to focus on this little post office. No, I go to FBI buildings, jails, prisons, police departments, post offices, city halls, county buildings, courthouses. We've been in 30 states in the past 18 months, and we've driven 31,000 miles defending the Constitution of the United States on my own dime. They're not... Don't waste your time. <laughs> I'm serious. Uh, you're wearing not a mask permanent. outdoors and I'm nuts. I just came out of there, sir, and I'm going to take it off. You know what? Okay, well, why don't you move to North Korea and they'll, they'll ready for you. Oh, okay. This is what no, this I'm, I'm, I'm 74. Right. I lived through the 60s. We do not need to talk to these people. Yeah, you're right. You you're lived right. through the 60s. Right. If you were there, you wouldn't even remember it. You're such a mean, so you're so See, but this is what happens when I explain myself to people. So you don't value our constitution. You should get out of here and go move to, they're already locking people up in Canada. Go to Canada. You don't value your freedom. You don't want to stand up for what's right and go somewhere else.
right. I'm not afraid to stand up for what's right. You don't really want me to start talking about this. Well, this country's given you and your family everything that you have, man. Why do you assume that I have a fucking husband? Why do you assume that I have a family? Don't make assumptions you don't know anything about. You don't have a family, so you weren't born to anyone? You don't have brothers and you sisters? You don't have family? Now you're, now you're picking so, on me. I do, I do have something to say. Sure. Yes, ma'am. And this is just because we live in Texas, and as Texas people, we're friendly, we're nice to each other. Yes, ma'am. But you're causing a problem. And I don't know why or Well, I just explained it to this young lady and I evidently wasted my breath for five minutes, but I'd be happy to tell you what I'm doing if you're interested. Sure. Okay, so I'll go through the whole thing again. This is my son, okay? We've been traveling the country for 18 months. We've logged over 31,000 miles on the road. That's a lot. On my yeah. own dime, this is the 30th state we've been Maybe in. Maybe you're just tired. Defending the Constitution of the United States. Okay. That's what we're doing. This is an exercise of rights. It's a First Amendment order. Sure. That's what we're doing. So what exactly was the amendment or the Constitution that was being broken here today that you're having Well, so far, so far, nothing. So far, we went inside. Dean, the, the supervisor of the post office, sure. didn't know if we were allowed to be here or not. Very uh -huh. cordial, professional gentleman. Okay. He called the postmaster, who then also got the media relations yes, person on the phone, that and they both verified that we are allowed to be here and yeah, videotape our. Course. So you all I be. wanted to do was buy a stamp, document my purchase, and leave. Okay. So who's being harassed? Okay. Um, maybe it's if not... I'm acting within my rights and within the law, who's being okay. harassed? Okay. Well, I understand that side of it. Okay. But at the same time, too, there's a lot of females in there. And maybe it just made them a little uncomfortable. A lot of females? That's a little sexist. I'm surprised you would even say that. Right? I think okay. you just caught yourself. Let's backtrack. I'll, I'll, I'll edit no, that out for let's you. let's not do that. Because actually, you're being a misogynist. Okay, I'm going to walk just... away because you're, you're going to get angry. So I'm just going to leave no, you with no, that. No. Sweetheart. I'm not going to get angry. Have a wonderful oh, you day, just please. said sweetheart. Have a wonderful day. Okay. Enjoy yourself. Yeah. God bless you. Smile, the birds are singing, the sun is shining. Have a wonderful good day. Good luck with your stamp beside there. All right, good luck when your rights get taken away because you're not going to get them back. I don't have rights being taken away. Oh, yes, you do. Crazy. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Lewis. Oh, here we go. So we have the uh, police. I thought we, I thought we called the sheriff. I guess they don't know the difference. Probably not. Texas, maybe they just say I called the sheriff, like generic thing. Yeah, it could be like <laughs> that kind of thing. How are we doing, sir? You know why we're here? I have no idea. Yes, oh, I can tell you exactly why you're here. Why? How are you, I sir? I had to call the complaint if I didn't even answer. So, my name is Jason. Can I just ask your name and badge on my phone? Uh, Trahan, 7514. 7514? Yeah. Thank you very much. So, this is my son. Uh -huh. Okay, so we came here today to take a look at the post office. Go and sign by a stamp. Okay. Uh, Dean, who is the supervisor of the post office, wasn't sure whether we were allowed to videotape inside the property or not. Uh, so he called up the postmaster, and this is all on video. <laughs> okay. He called, is your body camera running? Yeah. Very good. Yeah. So he called the postmaster. Postmaster got the media relations person on the phone, and they both told Dean. Their that, media relations person? Yes. Wow. And, and they both told Dean that we are allowed to take video inside the yeah, lobby. Yeah, you want to check with, uh, see what they want to do? or Speak to Dean, who's the supervisor. He'll tell you the whole story. Is that Dean? No, Dean's inside. He's, a He's right behind the counter there, inside the window. Um, so their higher ups, being the postmaster, their media relations, confirmed that we are allowed to be here. It is our right and it is lawful. So, so we, we were in line to get a stamp. Okay. And they decided to call you. Yeah, I tried to call them. They didn't answer. So I don't know. Let's go find out what they're doing. I have. Uh, I have no idea. Yes, let's cut to the Dean is the supervisor, correct? And but Dean called the postmaster and spoke to the media relations person, and you would no. verify that we are within our rights, right? Dean? And then you decided to call the police on us. I didn't call the police. Somebody did. Not me. Yeah, I called whoever it was that called the police, but they didn't answer. So, so you guys, do you guys need us then? I guarantee you it was not me. Do you guys need us then? Uh, not, I didn't call you. Okay. I, I did not call Well, more importantly, no officer. 
I would just like to let you know, did you speak to the postmaster and the media relations person who verified I'm allowed to be here? The operations manager and the, the, the uh, customer relations person. And they said I am allowed to do it. They are allowed to video on the facility. All right. All right. I'm sorry they wasted your time, gentlemen. We have a lot of things going on, so. I'm yeah, sure you do. Yeah, I don't know. And I'm sorry to take you away. I'm sorry to waste no, resources okay. to take you away from what you're doing. Thank you. Oh, all right. And be very truthful because we've documented everything on camera, so don't lie about anything. That's all I'm suggesting. I'm not saying you are. All I want to do is buy a stamp. Do you want to go buy your stamp? Oh, I'm going to. Yeah. Oh, okay. And can I just ask name and badge number so I know who was here? Shannon 8514. Thank you very much. And both of you, I appreciate your courtesy and professionalism. It means a lot. And I'm just going to ask you a question real quick, just for argument's sake. Well, not argument's sake. That's a bad part. But question I always ask police officers, okay? Because I'm assuming you're one of the good guys because you're coming across that way. Okay. Okay? Try to be. What do you think a good police officer's worst enemy is in this world? Well, I don't think I'm going to get into, like, interviewing. It's a very quick, no, like, no, no, it's no, a very so quick, and I'll, a rhetorical statement, I'll answer it for you. No, it's a, what's your answer? A bad cop. Yeah, that's, that's, that's. Right? Because they're not doing you any favors. For sure. And we value good law enforcement. We support good law enforcement. Good. We're not down with any of that defund the police crap. A yeah. matter of fact, I think you guys need more money for more training, more. Thank you. Yeah, more education because it's a very fast-changing world. And you seem like you're very outspoken. It would be a good person to, to, to really talk about that. You know? Oh, we do. No, I, I I have a channel on YouTube. I get over 100,000 views a day. Nice. What is it? So plenty of people are going to see it. I'll give it to you. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah, I'd like to see that. Okay. Well, you know what you do? Just tomorrow when you get up and you're looking at YouTube, just get on YouTube and just put in North Austin Post Office okay. and you'll see the video. Cool. But I sincerely hope that you guys are two of the good guys you came across that well, way I train, today. I train her, so okay. we're both good. Well, we support you, and we hope uh, you do it. But do me, all I'm going to say is two things, and then I'll let you get back to what you're doing. Honor your oath and weed out the bad guys because they're not doing you any favors. I'm with you. That's all why right. I've been training costs for 15 years. Have a great day. So. Thank you very much. We appreciate you, sir. Well, now the police have confirmed everything for you. There's no one left to call. Nothing left to do except sell me a stamp and I'm out of here. And I appreciate you, ma'am. I appreciate you looking out for your post office and doing what you do. I'm not giving you a hard time, and I, I hope you understand that. We're here for you as well. You may not understand what we're doing, but you will. And we're, we're here defending your rights as well as our own rights. That's all it is. No, thank you. I appreciate you. Down here. How are you today, man? Good. How are you? Can I just have one stamp, please? Mm -hmm. oh, I want the bucks for me. Please. Just the one sheet. 55 cents. Yes, ma'am. And I'll take the receipt with that if you would, please. Oops. Goes into our uh, scrapbook for our travels. Oh, no, that's okay. 45 cents is your change. Thank you, Susan. Survey, oh, and then there's your stamp. Thank you very much, and I You're appreciate welcome. your smile. I can see it under your mask. Have a wonderful Have a day. day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. Have a good day. Appreciate it. All right, so there goes the uh, police department. Getting back to uh, more important business. I got my uh, stamp, got my receipt, as usual. And, uh... I'm not saying it's going to take root or grow into anything here, but uh, we definitely did uh, get a little education value here today at the post office and uh, educated some of the folks that work here. And I hope it takes... All right, guys. Uh, you saw how that went. Hopefully, of the people here learned a lesson. Uh, Dino definitely learned that we are allowed to take video because at first he was saying we are not. And then... Uh, called up the supervisor and whatever else he said he called up media uh, relations people and uh they and we uh confirmed that we're allowed to be doing what we're doing and uh unfortunately somebody in the back uh decided to call the police on us even after it was confirmed that we're allowed to be doing what we're doing so uh police got here and uh they didn't have any issues uh, no issues taking video here because we are allowed to so hopefully it makes the cops think about uh, next time they get a call about someone taking video in a post office in the area and uh, 
everyone got an education today, including some of the people who were here, some of the patrons. So if you guys have any feedback for the police department or the post office, all that contact info will be in the description. And I highly recommend you check out the description because there's a lot of uh, information in there that you guys should check out. And uh, if you appreciate what we do, you like this video, uh, make sure you hit the like button, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, check out my other social medias, all that stuff. And uh, we encourage you guys, if any of you guys live in this area, to come do a follow-up here and visit and uh, see if they respect your rights or if you have an issue like we did. So that's about it for this one, guys. Watching Watchmen out with Amagansett Press here in Austin, Texas at the North Austin Post Office. See you in the next one, guys. Uh,